Hey folks, welcome back to episode two of the Viking House build with hand tools only. I'm with Dustin today, Dad's not here. Sadly, he's got a bit of the flu. So we've been working on, as you can see, the frame. This whole episode is based on the frame. We've done the foundation, which is this, this edge, these kind of log cabin style edging. And now we're working on the actual A-frame itself. So let me just quickly talk you through what we've done and explain what we've done. And then I'll get you right up to date with where we're at now. So this is where we're at. What we've done is we burnt the edges of the A-frames. We did that in the previous episode. Hopefully you saw us do that. If you want to watch episode one, I'll put a link in the, the top of the corner and in the video description below. We burnt all these edges. And the reason for that is that any moisture from the ground, it helps to seal it up and protect it from the rot. It will, it will rot eventually, but it makes it a lot longer to, uh, to rot away. It gives it that protective seal, evaporates all that moisture out. And uh, yeah, ancient Japanese technique and is used widely for building just in general as well, uh, building and developments to help preserve that wood. So we've done that. We've got this is the kind of log cabin style foundation that we've made. Now those stakes earlier, which you saw in episode one, which are here, these have been used as reinforcing points uh, on the joins here, on the joins up there in the other corners, just to keep it all extra sealed and obviously to not waste the sticks that we've used. We burnt those, we cut them up, we're not wasting them. So they are support sticks and you can see them kind of dotted around the shelter. There's some over there uh, in that corner and then some down here, just there as well. For this bit here, this is just to help secure the A-frame while we are lashing it all together because we've got another one, uh, Dustin's digging the end one in over there. We've got another one to go in this middle part here. So there's three of these large A-frames and then we're gonna lash the center pole there and some side supports as well. In the meantime, that's what these stakes are for, just to keep it all rigid, to stop this from blowing over to the sides. These stakes are also burnt, burnt in as well to you know help prevent that rot and keep it at bay. But it's looking good. It's looking really good. The Viking house is finally starting to take shape. We're really pleased with the foundations. We've leveled it all off. Uh, we've got a lot of work to do still, but it is coming along. Hopefully today, we've only got a few hours left of sunlight. Hopefully today we will finish the actual A-frames and uh, then it will be ready, ready for the bark roof. How's it going, Dustin? Not too bad. We've got some clay down there, so it's pretty hard digging, isn't it? As soon as you get through all this nice sort of like leaf mulch, you get to this really hard clay. But I'm sure we can think of something good to do with this. We've got some ideas, haven't we? Yeah, a few, uh, few clay projects. One of them actually to use that clay there is, is chinking in these gaps where where these log sort of log cabin style uh, logs are put together. The foundation we're going to chink that clay in those gaps, smooth it all off just to stop any draft and airflow okay, going in. Just like Dustin's doing there, yeah. We'll work away, just crush finish, it all in. Yeah, just fill it all in. Yeah, we'll, backfill we'll it with some leaves as well. Makes it a little bit warmer in the uh, in the longhouse. It does. It's coming along though, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It's really coming along. We, even we've surprised ourselves. <laughs> it's taken a few days to get to this. Yeah. But we've really tried to put a bit more effort in. Yeah, we're not and, uh, we're not sort of bodging it. Some some areas we are, but things like the dowels and everything, we're not. Yeah, and even bodging. even trying to preserve the wood as we want it to last for as long as we can. I know it's not going to last for, not going to last forever. We are using natural materials, and they're all dead anyway. Yeah. But things like burning these off, it's going to preserve it. It's going to stop that rot from from forming. It's going to put it off by a few years at exactly. least. Exactly. Yeah. So. It's coming along though. We're quite impressed. The other thing we did, if you can see up here uh, today, which took a lot of time, is the wood dowels. So we made some holes with a drill and bit. You can see there's the uh, the wood dowel that we've used. We could have put a wedge in it as well and split it to pinch it in tight and saw the wedge off, but we were quite happy with how that was anyway. And uh, you know we're not doing it all perfectly, we're just doing as, as well as we can. So we've got one that side, one that side. We notched out this support pole as well. So that's all ready really to, to go. So for the roofing materials, which is likely going to be the third episode, potentially the fourth episode, we're not sure yet. We'll see how much we get done here. <clears throat> we're going to go for cedar, so cedar bark. All the trees that you see around me pretty much here, the evergreens are all cedar trees. The logs that we've used for the foundation, they are cedar, as are the A-frame sh uh, structure logs. They are also cedar. The bark on cedar is very, very tough. It's durable, it's water repellent, and it's actually one of the few trees that takes ages and ages to rot away it's it's one up there with some of the best that's why they use it for log cabin building so it's a very durable hard wearing wood so we're going to go for cedar bark now that part or that episode is going to take a very long time to make 
Uh, so we may have to merge it into a couple of episodes. We're not sure yet, but that's going to come in time. We are in the winter. It doesn't, doesn't kind of look it. We've had some rain. We're in January at the moment. Uh, we're stacking these episodes up, just ready to drop them for you guys on TA Outdoors on the YouTube channel. Uh, don't forget as well, check out Dustin's YouTube channel, Bushcraft Tools. He does plenty of bushcraft stuff. Uh, I'll put a link to that in the description below. We are going to carry on finishing with this A-frame. Uh, hopefully we get it done today. If we don't, we'll carry on for the next episode. But stay with us. I think it needs to come down this side. Yeah, that side down a little bit. I still think it's quite high on the on the that side. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, it's peaty, isn't it? Plays in here. It's still room for that. Maybe a little bit, a couple more, and just. Right there. Wait. Let me get the other side. Are you ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Push my way a bit. Are we going towards you? Yeah, towards me. Keep going. There. Oh. So we've got the front end and the back end of the A-frame up. It's looking awesome. We've also just put the ridge pole on and now it's really coming together. You can actually see the structure. So these, the rafters essentially are gonna come all the way down to the ground down here. So that's why the cedar logs at the bottom are there and that's why they're stacked too high is to stop any drafts coming in. Even though the bark essentially, when we layer that bark up there, it's going to come right down to the ground as well because we're going to start at the bottom and tile it all the way up. But that's essentially the, the, the overall shape. It's a really good size, we're pleased with it. We didn't want to build it too big because otherwise it's going to mean loads of material to collect for the bark roof um, and that would have taken years. So it's going to be big enough, trust, trust me, it's going to be big enough. But it's, it's really good. So this is essentially where this squares off here is where we would walk in. So we've got all this room to be able to walk under and then after this that's where the eaves of the shelter comes in so the sort of angle of it and that's where it gets a bit more restricted but hopefully we're going to put seats here we're going to have a fire pit in the middle a big like a long viking fire pit oh it's going to be awesome i can't wait maybe a folding table at the back yeah we might have some like hinges with a folding table folding table the legs that fall out like that yeah and maybe a little window or something yeah. at the back we might even put a little loft conversion <laughs> yeah, we, but look how sturdy this is. Look, it's ridiculous. It's so, and that's with wood dowels holding it. 
brilliant. It's, and, and we're going to put the middle one up now, the middle A-frame, which is going to completely lock it all down. But we're super chuffed. These support poles are great. We've buried it. It's going to be so rigid once it's all together. I think we're still going to need to come a bit this way on that dig. What we're doing here guys is, obviously we showed you this earlier, this is all clay. Because it's wet today, it's actually compressing quite nicely. If this was the summer and it was hard, this would be difficult, wouldn't it? It'd be all crumbly. Yeah. But because it's wet, as we bash this down, it's it kind just, of forms and it, it molds, all... it molds like Play-Doh around this stake here. It's really you just rough. see it just getting flat. Look at where Dustin's hitting it there. It's, uh, it's just mushing down. Amber's helped out with some digging today as well. She's a good girl. <laughs> Yeah, you could go to that, you could go. Mm. We are almost there. And that is how far we have got for episode two of the Viking Shelter, or Viking House. It's looking good so far. We are pleased with it. We've got all the wood dowels and things in the A-frame sections. And that, that is going to be the entrance just here. It's all level. Look at that. That's pretty good. Given that we didn't even use a spirit level with that. And that's pretty symmetrical. We're very pleased. <laughs> Doing it all by eye. So we've left an overhang on the ridge pole up here as well. Whereabouts? There. So that we can have a porch, a small porch area at the front. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be good. That's it for episode two. Hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure you're subscribed. We're going to have episode three out possibly in a week's time, uh, where we hope to get a lot more done as well here at the Viking Shelter. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next episode.